Hi everyone, this is Jarla for Cloud9 Crafts. Thank you for joining me. There is a new uh, Cloud9 Crafts challenge which is warm and cozy and this is why I created this Christmas card. So I already die cut the kilted backdrop from Lawn Farm out of some white paper and then also that window frame uh, I die cut this from Narwhal and Stormcloud cardstock, but I will uh, only be using that Narwhal cardstock in the end. Now here I'm just measuring the blended piece uh, which has to go behind the frame. So that little uh, I will be um, cutting down a piece of white uh, paper for blending. So this is three and a half by two and three quarter of an inch and I will be blending this later and then I also cut down uh, wood grain cardstock about three quarters of an inch. Now I will start my blending with three of my favorite colors or this is one of my favorite color combinations. Uh, I start with milled lavender then the medium color is Victorian Velvet and then I go in with Aged Mahogany. So I start out with my lightest color, then I go in with my medium, then I go back with my lighter again and then I go uh, in with my darkest and then blend it out with that medium one and then blending that one out with my lightest one. And this always gives me a very smooth blend. So this will go behind that window. So I wanted to create a little bit of a sky so I'm sprinkling on some water and dabbing this off with a paper towel. Then I am taking some white gouache also diluting this with a little bit of water and splattering this on top of my panel. This creates the, looks, the look of stars. Then for the wood grain cardstock, I used vintage photo and walnut stain to give it more of that ground look. Those are the stamps I'm using today. So I'm, I'm starting with the Merry Mice, the Perfectly Wicked stamp set, then the older one Meow You Doing, this is one of my favorites, then the You Autumn No set, and the Joy to All stamp set. I'm starting out by just taping my ground to that kilted backdrop and then I'm just going to place everything and see if I'm... so it's just to see where all my stamps would go. So I have that window there, so at this point in time nothing is glued down just yet. So I'm just placing everything there until I'm happy with my placement just to see which stamps I have to stamp out with my MISTI tool. So I have a few of those uh, stamp sets that I will be using. I always like to shop my stash and all the Lawn Fawn stamp sets all work great together. That's why I absolutely love this brand. So that's about it. I'm ready for my stamping now. So I'm taking out my Misty tool and I'm stamping all of my images with MFT Extreme Black Ink. I'm using the transit type Perfect Coloring Paper. And I actually stamped everything twice just to get a very smooth and black impression. So these are all my images that I stamped out. Now on to my coloring. Now I won't be showing you the entire coloring or this video would be very very long. Um, so I'm just showing you uh, a little bit of the colors but I will be listing every Copic color combination in the description box below. So you can uh, go ahead and check that out. 
So as always, I'm starting out with my darkest shade and then blending it out with medium and then blending it out with light. Actually, here I'm using four uh, Copic markers. Normally, I tend to use only three. So here you can see me. I'm also, I'm always going in twice just to get that smooth blend. And then you get that shadow area, that darkest area, and then it's, um, it also creates a highlight on the top of the tree. For my mice, I decided to use some warm grays. Uh, so I'm using W3, W1 and W0 here. But again, I'm listing all of the Copic combinations below. And also there is a full supply list in the link in the description box below. So go ahead and check it out. It's very useful, I think. So I die cut everything out with the coordinating dies. And then it's time to assemble everything. So I wanted those two little cats to be outside. Um, so I uh, placed them between that blended background and that window frame. And I also, you saw me there cutting uh, that excess piece of the cat with my scissors. And I started by gluing down my Christmas tree. And then I uh, adhered everything else with uh, my liquid glue and also with uh, some foam squares. Now here I'm just white emboss uh, heat embossing my sentiment onto storm cloud cardstock. As always, I'm prepping it with anti-static powder and inking it with uh, Versamark ink. Offset, off camera, I heat set it with my heat tool and then I took a sentiment banner and cut this sentiment out. I just wanted straight edges, so I'm uh, cutting down those flags and then I'm also um, gluing down that sentiment strip with some foam squares. So it's time to put my card panel onto my card base. I just took a regular white card base here. And then for the finishing touch, I used my Spectrum Noir uh, glitter pen here for my uh, ornaments. And this gives it a very finished, sparkly and shiny look. And this finishes off the card for today. I hope you like it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!